Yeah, so my blog is product for evil. And so I try, <laughs> I like that. I try to identify when companies are using their data and knowledge against uh, the consumer. Is Google and in there? Because they, they do say they're not evil, but I think they're evil. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm a little behind the ball on getting these articles out. I've only written like two, but uh, you, you know, gotta start I'm getting somewhere. there. So, I did, I did are... four practice podcasts before I released one. <laughs> So yeah, there's unaired um, ones that are terrible, like even worse than our first episode. <laughs> yeah, so you got to go back and reinvite those people on now that you're a pro. I sort of purposely picked kind of lower stakes people, and I told them it was a prank. It was it was just my friends kind of helping me out, and so you know, it's, yeah, it's one of these things. Like, well, let me buy you a beer, and we'll we'll do this. And, so yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I lit I wrote a blog post because I was just blown away. Like you said, I think like 20, 30 grand is like the the quoted average wedding cost. Wait, and that's so, the average? I thought it was like some peer pressure number they use just to, to get you. Well, and and in this case, open it, your wallet, it is, your butt cheeks. It is because like I went and it's like that just sounded too ludicrous to me, right? So I went and like did some research and I thought it was nuts. And you can like check out my article for more detail, but like yeah, that uh, if you send me a if, link and we can post it on the thing. Yeah, we will do. Um, that if you go and look up like average cost of a wedding and like the first seven to ten Google results all source the exact same company. They, like, <laughs> they, they, like, articles reposting what one company posted, and that company Jesus. is in the wedding industry and wants you to spend more on weddings. And if you grab like independent research uh, that I found that's like more designed for vendors. And you then look at what the median cost of a wedding is instead of the average cost. Oh, you get drastically different numbers. Yeah, that's interesting. So, was, so that's the yeah. mean. Yeah, because I've been yeah. to weddings that easily cost like a million dollars. Correct, but, right? And so there's like this huge that's, long tail. Yeah, right? exactly. So if you average it in. All of a sudden, it seems like everyone's spending a fortune on weddings, where like more than half of people don't actually spend that much. Yeah. But because they average it, you know, with the mean, right? They're like, oh, you it's okay to spend more. Don't worry. Like you're still beating the average, right? You're doing better than most. Don't don't feel too sad that your wedding budget blew up. No, no, no. Don't worry. It's way cheaper than Mark Zuckerberg's wedding. <laughs> like, they're totally good. 